um, on different devices, we want a radically different user experience. But do we, do we want uh, to rewrite everything from scratch? Uh, possibly not. And uh, uh, luckily, uh, Qt had uh, given us a, a good answer for that, that it's uh, uh, QML uh, with all the Qt quick uh, creator plus um, uh, language concept. So uh, we, will, uh, we will migrate also more and more towards QML. And uh, um, a big part of the Plasma Mobile shell is actually based uh, on QML. So uh, everything that you see here, this uh, activity selector, this uh, uh, flipping animation, uh, these uh, transitions, this uh, notification area uh, up there, are uh, all uh, uh, done uh, in QML. So we tried with the exact the same executable that is uh, uh, running here to uh, do something that could be useful on uh, uh, bigger uh, tablet, tablet devices. So the same executable, different set of uh, uh, QML uh, files and uh, a different set of, uh, um, of uh, containments to line up the widgets and probably most of the default widget will be uh, also different. Uh, this is a prototype for uh, an interface that, that is targeted on uh, tablets that it's actually used uh, some slightly modified uh, containments from the netbook interface uh, because uh, here we target to a screen that is uh, uh, similar and uh, we even for the netbook always targeted uh, for something that is uh, quite usable on uh, touch screens and also the the metaphor the name that we gave to the container the newspaper it's uh, really adapt to a, a tablet like uh, uh, like device because it's it's quite convenient to, to browse around with just hand gestures. So uh, here we got the concept uh, um, even more to the extreme. You can also uh, flip pages that will be activity with a horizontal swipe that I have to, to do it with, with the mouse. So it's uh, uh, on uh, this netbook, it's actually in a horrible experience because I don't have um, the right touch screen. But uh, um, trying, uh, trying it on a, tab on a tablet, it's um, uh, pretty convenient. And uh, also the uh, complete, um, also the, the space for the widgets, it's, um, it's uh, flickable with the fingers in, a, in any place. We have uh, so an interface to add widgets that it's uh, touch screen friendly as well with uh, physics based uh, animations. Uh, the last thing I wanted to show is oh, we have the always still the same channel example. And the, the launcher is the usual newspaper that it's in this case is a uh, a uh, vertical uh, swipe gesture that that switches the the screen to a to a launcher interface. This is all uh, pretty usable to uh, from a touch screen. Um, basically, that's it. Um, with the with the right input methods. Uh, all the text field would be usable by clicking on them uh, uh, on screen keyboard can appear it's something that Qt uh, support it's pretty well and basically uh, that's it if I still have uh, two or three minutes I can just uh, show the source code for of two or three interesting things that are uh, a JavaScript uh, plasmoid. This uh, is um, 
this is a, a plasma widget widget that it's uh, written in uh, uh, with just JavaScript with our bindings. Uh, this is not QML actually, and it it's it's really simple. It's it's just a, it's just a, an example in an uh, in an how to. It's just a, a label widget that uh, contains <coughs> contains the um, the time. What time is it? So uh, what we uh, what we do? It's uh, we do a, a new layout since QGraphics widgets are uh, completely based on QGraphics layout. Then we assign we add we create a label. We add an item to the label. Uh, then. He, here comes the uh, concept of the data engine. We uh, ask for the time data engine by uh, doing this, uh, by the asking this team, the, uh, the time data engine plugin will be instantiated. It will be created only on demand. And we connect to uh, a source of the time data engine that in this call it's called UTC that means uh, uh, give to me the, the time in UTC time zone and uh, let's update the time every half a second every half a second the data engine will uh, will call this that is uh, this is actually the binding for um, a cute slot that is uh, data updated uh, dunque, dunque. A is uh, the source, so um, so we know also what is the uh, what is the source and the data engine that has been updated because um, a mm. widget can connect to all the data engine that uh, he wants. And A uh, no, and B will be uh, the time. Uh, everything uh, is in Q variant, so every type that can be uh, put inside a Q variant, uh, it will be uh, easy to uh, to just uh, use it. And uh, the, this line uh, does nothing but uh, assigning a new text to the label using the Q property, uh, the Q property system. Uh, a nice thing is that by developing these uh, these bindings, uh, we had to um, to give um, a, a good, well-designed set of properties to all our, our widgets. So at the time that QML come come in, we basically uh, got uh, half of our binding for free because it was from from day one. Just just we just uh, had to use uh, the, the macro to bind in. Uh, in the uh, in the QML uh, engine, our, our widget and all this its property will be automatically uh, seen. I think uh, we I have an example here. Oh, this is another time uh, example. Uh, this instead is done in QML, and uh, this is done not with uh, Plasma widgets but with uh, QML text that is preferable to use that in QML and um, this uh, data source that we bind in, in QML is uh, is just something to, to wrap the data engine so we ask for the data engine time in this case not UC UTC but uh, local and the interval <coughs> is uh, still uh, half a second And uh, every time that uh, the data engine will be updated, uh, the di dynamic pro uh, property um, that is uh, data, yeah, these um, the properties of this uh, data source will will uh, be updated. They will notify. So the text that is its property text is binded to him will be automatically uh, be updated and uh, that's it this is a more complex example so i won't uh, i won't go in details this is the the rss news uh, 
is this? Yeah, is this. The RS news reader that I shown uh, both on the mobile that it's um, ah, the okay is uh, it's this thing here it's actually done by pretty low amount of lines in uh, in QML uh, the interesting thing uh, okay the first thing uh, we bindings also there are the we also here create a data data source that binds to a plasma data engine then we are using uh, we are pretty randomly mixing uh, uh, plasma elements, everything that has, has the prefix plasma that we imported here with uh, purely uh, QML, uh, QML elements and it just work and we will uh, slowly uh, migrate probably our visual part to a, to a, a QML only uh, way but uh, teamed uh, with the same uh, uh, look of the plasma widgets, but so far it's uh, it, this is still in development, but it's looking pretty good. And uh, I think uh, basically that's it. What I wanted to say, so so so, as um, Alexis already uh, reminded uh, reminded this morning, if you have um, uh, questions. Uh, we have uh, a mailing list that is plasmadevil at kde.org and we have an IRC channel uh, where you can find some of, some of us pretty much all day and night that is plasma on free node and uh, all the API that I talk about uh, that I did talk about uh, today on the applet and data engine part is uh, on our uh, API site that is api.kde.org that I not written down here but whatever and uh, basically that's it